so it's supposed to storm. There we go, getting some lightning going on here. Oh yeah, definitely. humid out right now too so See anything from this direction? You see? Yep. Storm should be here soon, I believe. Lightning pretty good out here. Uh, it started raining.
Oh, we need to come down. Now here comes the wind.
start to slow it out a little bit, it looks like, but hey, man, that lightning is crazy, though. That's some freaking lightning, I tell you. Yeah, it's still letting him out here. As you can still see, this downpour came down, that's how you... Whoa, that's some tree shelter. Oh, yeah.
still raining out here. It's, I will say though, it's cold off though. It was humid earlier in, in the 70s. not really lightning as much as it was. This is rain now, it seems like. So flash there. Sorry, it's got a little blurry here. I think here comes round two. There's no warning with this one as of yet. But yeah. I think they have a flood watch out or a flood warning, one or two. Although with these heavy downpours constantly coming down, it doesn't kind of surprise me either.
absolutely nuts. <clears throat> and I do mean absolutely nuts. been kind of talking tonight, I'll tell you that right now. Been absolutely talking tonight.
National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Kendall County in northeastern Illinois, northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, southern Kane County in northeastern Illinois, western DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, until 1 a.m. At 12.18 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Maple Park to Montgomery to 7 miles northwest of Manuka, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roof, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Aurora, Joliet, Naperville, Bolingbrook, Wheaton, Downers Grove, Lombard, Carroll Stream, Romeoville, Plainfield, St. Charles, Atlico, Glen Ellen, West Chicago, Batavia, Lockport, Lyle, Geneva, Yorkville, and Lamont. Including the following interstates, Interstate 55 between mile markers 253 and 269, Interstate 88 between mile markers 102 and 131, Interstate 355 between mile markers 14 and 20, and near mile marker 25. This includes University of St. Francis, Aurora University, Benedictine University, College of DuPage, Family Lab, Illinois Math and Science Academy, Lewis University, Morton Arboretum, Walton C. Community College, Wheaton College, and North Central College. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The following is a flood advisory from the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a flood advisory for... So yeah, they put us under a severe thunderstorm watch now. Okay. So that's how much rain is actually falling as of right now. As you can see there, that's the total amount. What the time it is and what the temperature is. There's us going out here as of right now. No, it doesn't surprise me. I'm surprised it actually took them this long to put a watch out. I would have thought they would have did it earlier today, but obviously they didn't. So that's the way everything is looking as of right now. And it seems like it's kind of stopped raining, but the clouds still look nasty. And there, there is still some lightning in the area, so. As of right now. That's what it's looking like out here. And the rain is starting to pick back up now, so... No tornadoes, though. I mean, there hasn't been any tornado warnings or anything like that. Ooh, there's some lightning. This is what we're looking at, as of right now, for conditions. Crazy, I'm telling you. Northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, southern Kane County in northeastern Illinois, western DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, until 1 a.m. At 12.18 a.m., Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Maple Park to Montgomery to 7 miles northwest of Manuka, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Aurora, Joliet, Naperville, Bolingbrook, Wheaton, Downers Grove, Lombard, Carroll Stream, Romeoville, Plainfield, St. Charles, Asilico, Glen Ellen, West Chicago, Batavia, Lockport, Lyle, Geneva, Yorkville, and Lamont. 
including the following interstates. Interstate 55 between mile markers 253 and 269. Interstate 88 between mile markers 102 and 131. Interstate 355 between mile markers 14 and 20, and near mile marker 25. This includes University of St. Francis, Aurora University, Benedictine University, College of DuPage, Fermilab, Illinois Math and Science Academy, Lewis University, Morton Arboretum, Walden C. Community College, Wheaton College, and North Central College. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The following is a flash flood warning from the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a flash flood warning for Northern Kendall County in northeastern Illinois, Southern Lake County in northeastern Illinois, Northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, DeKalb County in north central Illinois, King County in northeastern Illinois, Southern McHenry County in northeastern Illinois, DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, Northwestern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 4.45 a.m. At 12.11 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing torrential rain across much the warned area. Up to two inches or more of rain have already fallen on top of the heavy rain that fell on Thursday morning. One to two inches of additional rain may fall within the next hour. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Chicago, Aurora, Joliet, Naperville, Elgin, Arlington Heights, Evanston, Schaumburg, Bolingbrook, Palatine, Skokie, Des Plaines, Mount Prospect, Wheaton, Hoffman Estates, Downers Grove, Glenview, Elmhurst, Lombard and Buffalo Grove. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 1 a.m. for northeastern Kendall, northwestern Will, southern Kane and western DuPage counties. At 12.27 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Alburn to near Aura to near Shorewood, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, Automated Weather Station. The automated weather station at the Aurora Airport recorded a wind gust of 60 miles per hour at 12.25 a.m. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Aurora, Joliet, Naperville, Bolingbrook, Wheaton, Downers Grove, Lombard, Carroll Stream, Romeoville, Plainfield, St. Charles, Oswego, Glen Ellen, West Chicago, Batavia, Lockport, Lyle, Geneva, Yorkville and Lamont. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The following is a flash flood warning from the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a flash flood warning for Northern Kendall County in northeastern Illinois, Southern Lake County in northeastern Illinois, Northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, DeKalb County in north central Illinois, King County in northeastern Illinois, Southern McHenry County in northeastern Illinois, DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, Northwestern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 4.45 a.m. At 12.11 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing torrential rain across much the warned area.
So there's what's currently going on. Been getting hit with non stop rain here. Oh yeah, that's what currently is going on right now. Um, 
a little bit of lightning. So. Oh, there we go. Lightning white isn't as frequent as it once was. So, as you can see, things have kind of calmed down now. They're not as, it's not as wild out here. I think the majority of it's over, as you can see here. It was crazy outside. I'm actually outside now, outside, because it's actually stopped raining now. But, man, it's been pouring on and off all day. I mean, they want to talk about strong to severe thunderstorms. There was no tornadoes or whatever. Uh, I believe the the Super Thunderstorm watch is gonna expire. Is going to probably expire. I believe. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. I tell you. But um, yeah, another spring thunderstorm. For like I said, for a while that lightning was really crazy. But as you like I said, as you guys can see, it's not even lightning anymore either. So that's the whole thing. So not, well, I take that back. It is lightning a little, but like it's not as as prevalent as it once was. I believe a lot of the storms have kind of moved off. I mean, it's just it's still cloudy out here, but like I said, I don't. I don't think there's any more severe. I think most of the most of the stuff, major stuff, is over. So I'm gonna end this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you guys really soon. Stay strong, stay lucid, and remember, love is louder. And I'll see you guys next video.